Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's baby is due to be born this month and no official date has been released by the palace, but does this point to the Duchess due date? Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with husband Prince Harry and royal fans the world over are excited to hear the news of baby Sussex's birth. Meghan's exact due date is unknown, with only snippets of information the Duchess herself told royal fans pointing to late April. Meghan has been on maternity leave since March 20, with her last royal engagement taking place the day before. However, looking at the length of one royal's maternity leave could point to when Meghan will give birth. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's mother to Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and Prince Louis, 11 months. Kate began her maternity leave when she was pregnant with Prince Louis on March 22, 2018. One month and a day later the Duchess gave birth, on April 23, 2018. If Meghan has followed Kate's lead with a month off for her maternity leave, this could mean baby Sussex will be born on April 21, 2019. Should this be the date, Meghan and Harry's baby would share his or her birthday with another very important royal. Queen Elizabeth II's birthday is April 21, and on that day this year she will celebrate her 93rd birthday. Her great-grandchild could share this birthday, should Meghan give birth a month after her maternity leave began. However, there are factors which may mean this is not a reality, one of them being the differences between Meghan and Kate's pregnancies. This is Meghan's first child, whilst Prince Louis was Kate's third baby. According to Live Science, a firstborn baby has a 15 to 16 percent chance of being late, compared to 9 or 10 percent for other babies. Bookmakers Ladbrokes have seen a flurry of bets on Meghan giving birth in late April. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Late April is looking extremely likely now, although we wouldn't be surprised to see the royal baby born in May.